It is time now for one of my favourite segments of the week, Wild About Trial. And for that, we have the creator of the popular website, Alison Friesel. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Matt. And also today, we have uh, another defence attorney, Robert Sheehan. Thank you so much for being here, Robert. Thank you for having me. I want to launch straight into it with a story that we actually broke here at Crime Watch Daily. It involves Glee actor Mark Sally. Now, he's facing some pretty severe charges, child pornography charges, after his house was raided. Should he be worried? These are serious charges. Each count, he's looking at a maximum of three years in the state prison. And if convicted, these are cases where he has to register as a sexual offender for life. Do you agree with that? My take on it is the child pornography laws are not being properly enforced at all. Uh, they're going after people like this fellow from Glee. Uh, they should be going after the people that cause actual harm to children. And by actual harm to children, I mean, they should be going after the photographers, they should be going after the distributors. Well, there'd be a lot of families of children who have been abused that might argue with you, Robert. Some claims of thousands of images, and while he might not have created them, and while he might not have produced them or distributed them, wouldn't people argue that he's propping up the industry by watching these things? Matt, he is no more propping up the industry than the heroin trade. We've made a decision to stop prosecuting users. We don't prosecute the heroin users or the cocaine users, and it's time to stop prosecuting these people. Are you saying he should go free? What I'm saying is we should be focusing on the people that make this stuff, not the guy that looks at it. I categorically disagree. I mean, here's the situation. There are victims in this case. Every image, if these are underage children, there is a parent there, there is a child that has been traumatized over it. Let's move on to the next case. We're only a few weeks into 2016 and we've got another case of a student-teacher sex scandal. But, Alison, in this particular case, there may well be uh, an interesting defence. Mm -hmm. So, she is a teacher at the school. He is an individual that's a student at the school. We don't know. He's somewhere between the ages of 16 and 19. And by all accounts, they had consensual sex but she's charged because there is a statute in Alabama that says any school official that has sexual intercourse with a student is guilty of a Class B felony, and consent is no defense. You have to remember that this lady and this young man are consenting adults. Uh, Allison wants to tell you, well, you know, there's this big age gap. They're consenting adults under the law. The law is the law. You follow the law. It's the same as if they each were 30 years old. I am the mother of school-age boys, okay? First of all, this is a teacher. She is entrusted in caring for them and educating them and not sleeping with them, okay? So I, as a parent, I'm totally outraged. But when he says there's a problem with the law, the law specifically says that consent doesn't matter here. And she's facing between two and 20 years. By the way, if this was a male and it was a female student, I think people would feel differently. Do you think jail time's a realistic proposition here, Robert? I think jail time's a very realistic proposition, but this appears to be straight consent. Alabama's a 16 and over state, remember that. 16 and over, you're an adult for purposes of consent. It looks like this young man consented. And I think that should go a long way. Well, Alison Treasel, Robert Sheehan, it's been a pleasure having your insights on these cases. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. And for more about Wild About Trials, simply visit our website, crimewatchdaily.com.